We now return you to Carl Phillips at Grover's Mill. Ladies and gentlemen, my aunt. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, here I am, back of a stone wall that adjoins Mr. Wilmer's garden. From here, I get a sweep of the whole scene. I'll give you every detail as long as I can talk and as long as I can see. The more state police have arrived. They're drawing up a cordon in front of the pit. About 30 of them. No need to push the crowd back now. They're willing to keep their distance. The captain's conferring with someone. Can't quite see who. Oh, yes, I believe it's Professor Pearson. Yes, it is. Now, now they've parted, and the professor moves around one side, studying the object while the captain and two policemen advance with something in their hands. I can see it now. It's a white handkerchief tied to a pole. Flag of truce. Those creatures know what that means, what anything means. Wait a minute. Something's happening. A pump shape is rising out of the pit. I can make out a small beam of light against a mirror. What's that? There's a jet of flame springing from that mirror and it leaps right at the advancing men. It strikes them head on. The Lord, they're turning into flames. Ah! The whole field caught up by the woods of fire. The, the gas tanks, tanks of the automobiles are spreading everywhere. It's coming this way now, about 20 yards to my right. Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, we are unable to continue the broadcast from Grover's Mill. Evidently, there's some difficulty with our field transmission. However, we will return to that point at the earliest opportunity. In the meantime, we have a late bulletin from San Diego, California. Professor Indelkoffer, speaking at a dinner of the California Astronomical Society, expressed the opinion that the explosions on Mars are undoubtedly nothing more than severe volcanic disturbances on the surface of the planet. We continue now with our camera. Put that pound on my kids on your couch. Half of a Mongol and mythical team dealing this treacherous thing. We're about to kick it off now. Wait, what? Is now. He even re- are you even record? Are you ready? Yeah, man, I'm. Uh, I'm ready? ready. Are you ready? No. Break it down. Well, you gotta let me know when you're ready, like mentally or physically. I mean, I can. Ha- I can press the button. Do you have a boner? No. What? Then you're not ready. Degenerate boy. Give me Shut up. Three, two, one. one. Boner time. Stop. Tis time for boner. Let's see if we can still do this. I think we can. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome to the Funky Panther. Coming here from Fort Worth, Texas, we have got an episode for you. Yeah, that's right, an episode. It's a. Uh, it's gonna be a great show here on episode number one hundred and five. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's get into it. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. I'm Tim. And we are the, the Funky, Funky Panther. Panther. It's been three weeks, I think, since we've done an episode together. Well, I mean, you had two Chads. We do have. We had two Chads. We had, had Chad Thundercock, right, with and Tulips. Robin. I mean, just phenomenal yeah, job. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I, I almost put on my my like uh, Columbia shirt today. Yeah. And I was like, no, I, I can't do it again. No, like, no, no. Now no. it's a thing. Now it's that's a thing now. I mean. She was. She, she said she was going to do it for your birthday, and that would have been really cool too. I mean, two chads, and of course she put on glasses. She did. Yeah. Did you know that she doesn't wear glasses? Yeah. And she, she those were see. those were real glasses. Yeah. And then I. That's exactly like what she wore, and I didn't realize this. What she wore at Tulips is what I wore Sunday night or Sunday for our brunch. And so she had posted, she's like, who wore it better? And I didn't even yeah, think about yeah. it. I, I had the Just Be Yourself hat, the black Columbia shirt, and everything. It was exactly what she was wearing. And uh, You're too predictable. I guess so. Got to shake things up. I, I mean. Got to get in there and wear some. You got to peacock that. Okay. Got to be peacocking. I don't know. What, I don't even know what that means exactly. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. That's yes. A, that's not what a peacock sounds like. No. Definitely a, what a chicken, a chicken sounds that's like. That's a yeah. chicken. So yeah, it's been uh it's been a few weeks. Y'all had uh the tulip show. Great job by the way. Thank you. Boys. Thank you. Thank Fantastic you. Thank job. you. Uh and then Robin helped out with that. Yeah, uh, y'all had Avery Burke and Vincy Jones and then you had um uh Grant as Grant well. Was there. Yeah. That was a great show. It, it, was, it was, was a great. wonderful time. I was I was having a little bit of FOMO. I really was. And then last week y'all had Lance on, which, you know, Y'all kept calling better Chad. So, I mean, y'all didn't miss a beat. <laughs> and then and beat. then uh, I went on Lance's show. Yeah. Javier went great on Lance's episode. show. It was a really yeah. great episode. Thank yeah. you. It was it a good was episode. Good. It was yeah. a fun time. Yeah. Fun so, times were had by all. We had a lot of stuff going on uh, while you were gone. 
Well, I, I didn't miss a beat because as soon as I got back, we had birthday shenanigans. I was on the Fort Worth Roots this week. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, like I'm, I'm already I'm on it. I'm yeah, on Andrew back. hit me up. We're, I'm supposed to get on his show at some point this week, too, it sounds like. And then you are as well. And mm-hmm. we're going to yeah. be promoting their little event and just kind of chatting. Yeah, to September know us. 10th, Pouring Glory. Uh, so Andrew's let's go ahead and episode. start with group news, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, get to it, Chad. Um, yeah. So a couple of things. One, <laughs> hey, he's been out of the loop. He needs to just go ahead and do everything. Yeah, so you fucking do it. Uh, as you may have heard on the last episode, and y'all, y'all gave the letter, right? You gave the letter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We gave which, the letter, which was a. Our letters a. Yeah, for yeah. anus. A for anus. So if you listen to the last episode, uh, you probably heard that our our friend Andrew over at the Fourth Roots is having a huge event over at Pouring Glory on September 10th for his hundredth episode. If you recall, he was on our hundredth episode. He helped us out. Right. He did a phenomenal job. It was so cool to have him on. A uh, good friend of the guys. I mean, we we've, we've been pretty close with him for a few more than a few months now. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's really become just like an. I don't want to say it because I don't want it to go to his head. He was about right. to say group But he's warrior. really he's really become like an honorary panther. Yeah. But I don't want to say it. Right. He's more like a what is it the what he's do we cub. come up with? He's a, he's a, he's a cub. He's a cub. He's a, he's a cub. He's a and he's a, just he's a wee a, wee bit of a cub. He's a, All you he, cool cats. I feel cats. like there's a there's a sexual reference there. He's a, he's a is he's there? A, he's a cub. Is there I, a cub I, thing? Yeah, I Did believe there is. Cub? He's a cuck. That's a Andrew different thing. is yeah. a total cuck. I believe he's oh, okay. a he's a cub. I think that is a I think that's a reference Listen, to something. Ain't nothing wrong with a little cucking here and there. I talked to him yesterday, and it sounds like he's a couple episodes behind. So by the time he listens to this episode, it'll probably be well after yeah. his thing, <laughs> and, and <laughs> he'll cancel us then. Yeah, exactly. And too late, buddy. We've already done your thing. So September tenth, uh, big thing at Boring Glory, celebrating him and his hundredth episode. But he he does a really good job of just make not making it about himself. You know what I mean? Like for our hundredth episode, it was about us. Like it was. Well, that's it was the difference. Us between us and andrew number one so <laughs> he's we just, not an asshole <laughs> yeah he's not an asshole number two he is so official and, oh, yeah. and this is how we know he's official yeah it's by his email address oh yeah media at fort ruth roots that's how he gets taken seriously yeah i mean I, ours gotta, is that fucking gmail okay we'll change it but media at, point, at the funky panther at this point i mean we could do it penis at the funky panther oh no, no 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 media i think maybe yeah but insert, like insert insert here at the funky but we panther. use our gmail for so much stuff like <laughs> yeah. it's 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 we, we're you two could, and a half years in you now. could have it redirected oh yeah you could have it just yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah we could do that Whatever. So make sure you make it out September 10th. Uh, pouring glory. It's going to be a great time. There's going to be like giveaways. There's going to be prizes. Like they mentioned last week, uh, the letter for Funky Panther is A. There's going to be a scavenger hunt. So make sure you check out all the other um, podcasts in Fort Worth to make sure you got all of the letters that spell out a certain phrase. And then uh, your boys will be there kind of co-hosting the event as well. So um, as long as he doesn't hear you calling him a, a cuck cub this episode, uh, we won't get canceled until after that, right? Like He's, that's- a, he's a cub. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, another thing that the gentleman mentioned last week is it is time to vote for your best of podcast yet again for Fort Worth Weekly. Uh, if you recall, we did win last year. We won kind of twice, right? We got yeah. we got best of uh, radio personality when it came to um, Reader's, Choice. Reader's Choice because there was not a podcast category at no. the time. And then they created one. They created one, and, and we got that one as well, which yeah. was just kind of mind-blowing. We were at the Oktoberfest event here in Fort Worth. I remember I was just a little drunk. Just, you know, out of my mind, super excited. Uh, and then We're we coming got, up on a year since that. I know. Well, I mean, it's. Yeah, that's why Best Of is happening again. You know, that's why it's happening again. Is that how time works? <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> strangely enough, this right. is the episode that Javier finds out how time works. Right. So if you've already voted, thank you so much. We appreciate you. If you haven't, we're not saying vote for us, vote for us. But like if you want to go on there and make sure you're voting for your favorite, you know, burger, your favorite restaurant, your favorite musicians, all of it's on there, uh, as well as your favorite podcast or uh, there's podcasts. Yeah. Right. Do we we have have that? uh, Do we still have those Russian bots? (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we can find the, some. The guys we can find over some at, good old fashioned Ukrainian bots. The guys over at Jerry Jones yeah. Massacre gave us a hard time because they they stopped winning because yeah, we started yeah. winning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like, granted, they won like a million. But years they were in also row. saying they weren't going to push it either. Like yeah. it was just you know, and it's supposed to be named the Jerry Jonestown Massacre. Are you still bleeding? I'm still bleeding. Oh man, man, you got to get your life together, man. I know, buddy. Injuries happen here at the fucking Panther. Yeah, it's gonna be the Jerry Jonestown Massacre. Uh, podcast award or some something like that right but yeah so 
if you want to vote, go ahead and vote for us or not. Vote for whoever you think is doing the best work. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of, there's of a good lot of talent. There's a lot there's of so many good podcasts. Yeah, there are. Yeah. There's hard to keep up with. You know, it, it really is. We we got our we got our nut. I mean, I'm happy with our nut. I want more you of know. a nut. I mean, I want more nut. We can get, we can get a bag of nuts. <laughs> Mark that. You know what I mean? Why not a bag of nuts? I want more nut. <laughs> You mean, I want more nut. Give me all the nut. One cannot just be be happy with with the two nuts that we got. No, I mean if it's. I mean, hey, look, uh, we I've got, got, I got so much love for we got we got four we, nuts. We do live close. Yeah, technically we have we four, nuts. four nuts. We, we do nuts. live close to the Trinity River and Lake Worth. That makes total sense that we have four nuts. You're right. Yeah, we we drank Lake Worth water growing up. Now we have four nuts. Looking for the fifth. Yeah. Um, because it, we know it's there. We just got to go searching for it. Um, long story short, vote <laughs> for the fourth weekly best of. It feels good, man. It feels good to be back in here. I, I miss you motherfuckers so bad. Yeah. I really, really did. Link is in the bio. Link's going to be in the bio. Yeah, the OnlyFans um, are, are only when fans. we get together. Yeah, and you can also check us out uh, on Instagram at the Funky Panther. By the time this drops, um, we're going to make sure that we put it out there on our social media as well, like how to vote, where to vote. We'll put out the link and everything like that so you you can help us out uh, if if you feel nice enough to. Yeah, do I, c- so. I could probably handle that. I think. Um, do we uh, want that's to- voting until uh, September September tenth, which the, is also the day of Andrew's right. Shindig. Yep. Right. It's gonna be bad whenever we win that and we're at a shindig. You know, will we find I mean, out we September tenth. We no, won't know for gonna, like a month yeah, or two. Month. That's okay. Yeah. And he's pushing us. He is pushing us. That's he is just pushing the kind us. of guy and he is. Yeah, he wants us to win. He's like, yeah. we are the best, and I have to agree. <laughs> You're so all over the place. <laughs> vote for us or don't vote for us. I don't care. We're not the best. There's so many good podcasts out there. No, we're definitely the best. Oh, no. Camera died. No. This is amazing. How did that happen? I thought it was charging. I don't know, man. I Are we still streaming, though? No, hey, I not. think so. No? No, it no? cut out. No, cut out. no but I mean, like, out. audio? Oh, man. Are we still yeah. Streaming? Oh, we are. Yeah, yeah you can... So, if y'all can hear us, uh, great. Sorry about the video cutout. I don't really know if we want to stop and fix it or. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go with it live. I'm gonna go switch it over to the. Uh, I can go switch over to the webcam again, and uh, that we know that works. Yeah. Okay. Might so well. y'all just keep talking about yourself. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do some techie stuff. Okay. Yeah. So um, like like uh, what Chad was saying earlier, or what Tim was saying. I mean, there's so many categories to vote for. Um, vote for your favorite one. Uh, there's a category for everything: best burger, best restaurant, best uh, Mexican food, best uh, local bar. You know, it's don't waste time by literally naming <laughs> everything. You like pull up the four week list. Uh, Let me go through the list of all the things. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, um, no, don't vote for us. You know what? Fuck everyone. Fuck everyone. We're the best. We're no, the champs. No, hey Tim, the gray cords in the basket. If you need the, the extender for the webcam, my friend. Bro, bro. So um, let's get into some individual cool. deals. So Sounds what good. what did you do this past week, man? You know, just to celebrated with you for your birthday uh, return and also a birthday brunch, and uh, it was a great time. We had a, we had a fun time at uh, Nickel. We had a good time at Lola's. Uh, saw a couple great artists. Of course, a washed up rookie. Yeah, I performed over there too. God Bold and uh, who else? Uh, J was it J O E? No, it was not J O E. Sorry, J O E. I think was performing he was there. At Hot though. Fusion. Yeah, he, he showed up after after his the show. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, no, but yeah. So that was that was kind of fun. So yeah. So Saturday we went to Nickel City first, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, which you know that was actual birthday birthday. It wasn't yeah, Saturday, yeah. and so the start the shots were already starting to flow. Shout out to everybody that showed up. Like that was super nice. It was nice to be able to get back from you know uh, this two weeks gone in Egypt and then be able to come back and kind of recharge with all my friends and my people. And so yeah. I really enjoyed that. Thanks to everybody. So we did Nickel City. We went over to Lola's. What do you think about Lola's? I hadn't been yet. Uh, it was pretty cool. It's I mean it was better than the Berry Street I had. I house yeah uh the stage is amazing the way they have it like trenched in yeah kind of underground yeah although i wonder how that was with the whole flooding situation that had to have been bad right like that had to have been bad yeah Yeah. here um no but i mean it was still good uh the drinks were flowing it was a fun night over there um try to go to grandma's after it was very packed yeah of course uh we had to go to somewhere other than that place yeah i blacked out after that i don't remember much no. Yeah. But then of course, um we had brunch on Sunday. It was a it was a great time. 
went to uh, Bottle Blonde and then uh, ended up at um, Concrete Cowboy, where me and Chad were enthralled in shots, uh, hurricane shots, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, it was pretty cool. These they're still working on the videos. Yeah, so. but like now the GoPro's working again somehow. I don't know what's going on. You unplugged it. I think it's because we don't have that Dondelinger hooked up to it. Uh, okay, that's probably why. No, um, but yeah, it was it was a great time. It was a great weekend, and I'm glad I was able to celebrate with you. Yeah. yeah so I, I I remember um a little bit from Sunday. Um, not not a lot, a lot, mm-hmm. but a little bit. I mean, I remember uh, uh, Bottle Blonde just being crazy. We yeah. were playing beer pong. Uh-huh. We were dancing. I don't know how many of those towers we had. Those green Aquaman towers. Yeah, yeah. They were flowing horde. Absolutely. Horde. Um, what else? What else? And then, uh, yeah, Concrete Cowboy was a good time. Mm-hmm. And then it flooded all over again. Yeah. So so I, I, I don't remember Concrete Cowboy. That was like the, the kind of blur of my day. Yeah. Then I went over to Rabbit Hole after that mm-hmm. and then went over to Chiba Hut after that, which I had not been to Chiba Hut yet. Have you been to Chiba Hut? The, oh, yeah. The yeah. They're, they're, uh, their meatball sub is amazing. Man, I don't even remember what I got, but I just remember it being really, really good. So, and Tim, then, uh, how are we doing on the video? There? Yeah, we're not going to get the video. I'm sorry. All right. Mm-hmm. We're sticking with audio. Okay. Uh, so then uh, we went to Chiba Hut, and then I got an Uber back to 7th Street because I was feeling pretty good at this point. Mm-hmm. It was, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. And so got an Uber from Chiba Hut over to 7th Street, and the guy like had to back out. Like He was about to pull in. Yeah. You know from Lancaster, you turn right where that big um, mural is. Like You're about to go to... Uh, Rodeo Goat. Like, I don't remember the name. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. Morton, um, Morton Street. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. It was just completely flooded. Like, there was four cars abandoned. There was a guy trying to walk around. He was, like, knee deep in water. Like, it was nuts. I'd never seen anything like that. And so, then, he, we're not eating it yet. <sighs> Put it Damn away. It. So, he... Uh, so, well, what's funny is nobody could see that. I know. <laughs> so, the, the Uber backed out. He, he went around... Uh, all the way around 7th Street, like over there by um, where uh, the, the uh, shit, the ramen place is. Oh, uh, uh, Wabi House? No. Or? Uh, Kintaro. Kintaro, okay, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, so all the way back around, because that's where I parked, is kind of by La Familia. Yeah. And uh, I didn't have any problems with the Land Cruiser, but like, man, like there were so many cars like just abandoned. It was, it was nuts to see. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Yeah, so. Tell us about your weekend, Tim. Let, let me just. Let me tell you about. Let me just tell you about the flooding that continued on. Yes. Uh, so yesterday, from Wednesday or from yesterday? Yeah, I'm talking about yesterday. Okay. Just I'm, I'm going to just talk about that real quick. Okay. So we had to take. Uh, we have a bunch of new hires, and we take them out in the ambulance and drive around. Mm-hmm. And happened to be the day that everything was flooding, and there was a section of Rosedale, like East Rosedale, right past 35. We get over there, and the cops got the got it blocked off. And I pull up in the ambulance, and uh, it's not really raining that heavy at this point. I'm looking. It's pretty deep. It looks like, and I asked, and the cops like, "Hey, do you do you want to go through it?" And I'm like, "Can, can we?" He's like, oh, "I don't know, man. It's kind of deep." <laughs> why, why are you asking? I don't know. know. And I was like, "Well, how how deep is?" He? He's like, "Oh, it's pretty deep." And I look. There's a car sitting there, and the water's like just above the tires of this yeah. of this car. I'm like, you know what? Maybe. Yeah, we're in a bigger truck. We mm-hmm. we could go through. The water's not moving across the road, so I'm not worried about being swept off the roadway or anything like that. So. We proceed through it, and it's deeper than what I expected. Now we we made it through, but then we also had water coming up into the ambulance, into the oh uh, Lord, in, really? in the, in pa- the, in the yeah the patient compartment, not in the cab. Oh, okay, because uh, I mean it sits a little bit lower, but it was just like all right. If we had gone over there an hour later, probably would not uh, would not be able to to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no way that we could could have gone through it. But yeah, there's mass flooding all over the city, and we were having to try to figure out like ways around it and stuff like that, which was ridiculous. But uh, back on the weekend, though, Saturday, you know, I, I wasn't able to participate in the 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 Chad debauchery um, that was going on. I was at a uh, Rob Zombie concert, hey. so I relived. I, I got to see some bands that I've never gotten to see, and it was amazing. So I relived my my early teens and got to see Rob Zombie uh, headline a show. Uh, it was Power Man Five Thousand. 
who opened, which is uh, the lead singer's Rob Zombie's little brother. Yeah. Uh, Static X, which Wayne Static's dead. And they've got this uh, mystery guy that's uh, doing it uh, now. He wears a Wayne Static mask and all that. Uh, Mudvayne, which hasn't played together in 12 years. Oh, really? Yeah. This was like their comeback tour. And then uh, Rob Zombie. And and even if you don't like Rob Zombie, you need to go just for his showmanship. Um, all the visualizations that he has oh, for yeah, every yeah, single yeah. song are perfect, perfectly choreographed. He actually, they leave the set and he changes costumes and stuff and dresses differently for it. They bring out different props. I mean, it's a, it is a production. That's pretty cool. And it is so much fun. Uh, had, had, a, had a blast. There's uh, all sorts of weird people there. All sorts what of normal people. people. So there was people that were dressed just like very strangely. Um, there was a guy that was in a, in a cowboy duster, like the oh, trench yeah, coat. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But he had an anonymous mask, but the mask itself... Do you remember back in the day whenever you would watch TV really late and then there was no more TV? Like, yeah. there's no more shows and it goes to those lines? Yeah. That was oh, on his really? face, yeah. The white uh, noise lines? <clears throat> like, not the white noise lines, but like the blue, purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. The bars, yeah. So that was on his mask. Uh, like this. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, just just like that. The standby ones, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. It just showed up on the, the stream. <laughs> so... We had, uh, yeah, it looked just like that. It was it was weird. And then uh, where we were sitting at, we were sitting down on the floor, but behind the uh, the sound booth. And so we got to talking with, like, all the people around us. And there was one guy, like, this one guy drove all the way from uh, Odessa. Oh, really? To come see Rob Zombie. Hopefully there was he a, stayed the night. Yeah, yeah, they, they got a hotel. Um, there was another lady that they go to shows in Wichita. And I never thought about that, so... They drive up from Fort Worth to go to Wichita instead of going to like Dos Equis mm-hmm. because they have a really nice outdoor pavilion in Wichita, and the weather's usually better. <laughs> yeah, way better. So it's not like a million degrees in Wichita, Wichita Kansas. Yeah, or, okay. uh-huh. yeah. So they'll drive all the way up to Wichita, Kansas, which is a day drive. Yeah, they get a hotel. The hotel's right across the street from the venue. Um, I was like, man, maybe maybe we should start doing that. Well, like seven years ago, whenever I went and saw Foo Fighters, like like me and Chelsea went over there, and it was a four hour Oklahoma City is like yeah, a four yeah, hour drive. Uh-huh. So we, you know, it was four hours there, four hours back, and then of course an hour in traffic trying to like get out of Oklahoma. But yeah, there was just people like from all over the place that were going uh, coming out here. Yeah, uh, that's cool. Yeah, it was it was a, it was a good time, and I ran into uh, Dustin from Jerry Jonestown. Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah. was he was shooting the show. Um and the dude's a talented photographer. Like hands down, he's got some awesome. Uh, he does some awesome work, and you should check him out at. Uh, I think it's Plastic Dust. Dustin, I'll have to. I'll, I'll link dust. it. Yeah, Plastic yeah. Dust. Um. Anyways, he he took a bunch of pictures of the the set, and um, it w- it was amazing. So he texts me, and he says. Yeah, they, they're letting us stay down here because usually they kick you out mm-hmm. away from the stage after you get to shoot like three songs and then that's it per per band. But they're like, yeah, they're letting us stand down here, and I'm actually off on the on the side stage right now, standing next to Rob Zombie and John Five, which is the guitarist for Rob Zombie. And I'm like, you son of a bitch, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I ran into Susie while I was there for Fort Worth Famous. Uh, we got the yeah, got they the showed chat. up to Lola's after that for yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but I I remember seeing their faces and giving them hugs, and that's about it. I was like, y'all going to come out to Grandma's? But Grandma's was so packed, we had to go over to uh, Boiled Al instead. Yeah, yeah. And I don't I don't know where they went. And I was yeah. too drunk. To no, I think they went home. Dustin, Dustin had to, uh, he was shooting um, Cowboys. Cowboys, yeah, because they just, they just oh, started yeah. up at, you know, at the star. And so he was up there. Very cool. Uh, man, dude's got, he's got the connections. He yeah, does, like absolutely. He's got the connections. He and, knows people. Uh, he does know people. Um, they actually have a show coming up, October uh, 29th, his band, um, so Halloween night, uh, the spectacle, which is a metal band, they're gonna be playing at Lola's, which I'm going to be a part of. That I'm gonna go check them out. Not gonna be a part of the band, but why'd you say you're gonna be a part? I'm gonna be a part of the. I'm gonna be a part of the, uh, I'm gonna be a part of the festivities. You fucking liar! Uh, he said dress up. You know, it should be a good time. So if you want to come check that out, uh, it's gonna be at Lola's. Uh, good metal band gonna be playing. So nice. nice. Don't tell us what to do. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, man, that's uh, that's really all I had going on this uh, going this weekend. Run. Hung out with you uh, the next day for brunch. Um, Pizza rolls at Bottle Blonde were pretty good. Dude, can we yeah. talk about the? Uh, can we talk about Bottle Blonde for a second? Yeah. I mean, yeah. The the waitress that we had. Yeah. She's fucking stupid. <laughs> Jesus, God man. damn Come man. On. No. Okay. Well, seriously though, she holy look, shit. She was dumb. Like straight up, she's she's not a listener. 
whatever <laughs> even if she is chad left like stickers i think that's fine she was dumb like like i get why she works there <laughs> You're so rude. like she's pretty she was pretty oh but dumb that sounds very misogynistic wow buddy. yeah i don't i don't want to be I've, part of this conversation at all. look i feel like that's why they hired her I, i'm not kidding she asked us she how, how many times did she come up every like three seconds and ask us if we were fine because some of them were like mike got there he didn't want to drink right away yeah, I mean, like, a way, I mean I, can we talk about how I good the it. rest of the experience? Yes, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that in a second. So I didn't like the waitress. <laughs> we know, God damn. Not. she just annoyed the piss out of me. Anyways, <laughs> Holy um, shit, I'm, I'm on, I, says, OMG, 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 I'm on a tear. I'm, I'm on a tear right now. Yeah. Um, but can we talk about those pizza rolls for a second? Oh they're delicious. God, they're so good. That was the first time I ever had those. Yeah, and. Hang on, back on the waitress. Oh my god! So I asked her. I was like, "Hey, thought we were past this. Can I get an order? This is why I'm like, she's stupid. Okay. I was like, "Can I get an order of pizza rolls?" And she looks at me. And she's like, "There's some over there," and she just points at yours. Yeah. And I'm like, "No, I'm asking you. I would like an order of pizza rolls for myself." Oh, and she just walks off, and I'm like, "Am, am I going to get them? I did get them, so it was worth it. But those pizza rolls are are fan fucking tastic. They're like." Um, yeah. They're like Hot Pockets. Yeah. But, but, hot Pockets. But better. This episode's sponsored by Hot Pockets. Yeah. Where were we? Uh, anyways, I was talking shit about the waitress. <laughs> so, right. yeah, that waitress, she really fucking sucked. But the pizza rolls were great. Um, I did enjoy that. Uh, yeah. and, and then the Happy Dad. That was the first time having Happy Dad seltzer. Oh, yeah. We did the, the what do you call them? The, uh, the butt chugs? Yeah. <laughs> no. Chug, 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 chug buddies. Chug, chug buddy, which is essentially like a plunger at the end of the yeah. can. And then you you put it up and you just like key it, yeah. That's some shit that we would have come up with in our youth. Oh yeah, and we should have come up with that in our youth. Yeah, because then we would be rich. But we're not. So there's no, that. that we're not. All right. But yeah. Otherwise, you know, it was it was that, fun. That right? many pr- that pretty much covers. Yeah, that, it was fun. It was a good time. I had a good time. The DJ was great. The the ambiance was great. It started packing up once we started. Like all right, we decided we're. It got a little loud for me. Oh my god. No, so I have a hard time. I have a hard time hearing. I can't have conver- It's hard for me to have conversations. You also forgot your fucking cane, you piece of shit. Yeah, it's it's hard Old for me man to hear. Timothy, thank you. you. You'll know when you hit thirty. You almost thirty-seven. Okay, well, you're thirty-six. We're both thirty-six. I've got. It. We're thirty-six now. You're 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 a baby boy. You barely you're barely thirty. <laughs> you're barely thirty-six. You barely just cusp the overage of. Uh, you you get close to thirty-seven. You're like two feet in the grave. Okay, whatever. So yeah, it was a great weekend. I don't know. I don't even know what to do. I think we're at the sports now. Let's just fucking get into sports. Man, I okay. Mean, let me. Um, we got to reset really, here. Let's. Uh, it really pissed you off, huh? Yeah. And now, action sports with Javier. Take it away, Javier. Dallas Cowboys defeated the San Diego Chargers. San Diego. San Diego, which is a whale's vagina. Yeah. Uh, they defeated the Chargers 32 to 18. Uh, the high point of the game was Kevontae Turpin, uh, the USFL's uh, reigning MVP, who we signed um, during the offseason, uh, ran two touchdown, two ran two balls back for touchdowns. So what you're saying is. Football's back. Football's back, baby. Football's back, and baby. And it's better than ever. No, we haven't won a um, preseason game in like three years, which preseason is preseason. What? I, I really don't care much about preseason. Yeah. During but it's preseason, to, that's when they're playing with the with the other, like the second strings, the backup, backup yeah. stuff like backups, that, right? Yeah. The, the, there are two games left. Um, of course, the, the uh, starters get more and more, um, what is it? Plays. Runs right. They get right. play time. Just, yeah, my brain more go bye time. bye. Okay. No, um, they have they have more uh, plays <laughs> that they run during like the last two games. Yeah. So it's going to be good to see uh, Turpin. He's a real good talent. He's a really high talent. As a matter of fact, if they haven't changed it yet, or well, they as of right now, if you go into the official NFL Twitter account, you will see uh, the heading up top. Do not kick. To Cavante Turpin. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's very cool. That was great. Um, so I'm looking forward to this next part that you're about to dive into, I think. Uh, the, Would you like it, let him do his thing? No. The, the, Shut up, Tim. <laughs> the Texas Rangers have won four of the last you. four of the last six games, have gone four and two since firing John Daniels. Um, you'll love to see it. Of course, uh, John Daniels was fired after a uh, dismal performance, having not made the playoffs in the past six years. Yeah. 
Um, what else? It was uh, a surprising move, though, right? Well, like you know, he and he knew. I mean, but, it was coming, but like all out of nowhere. Yes. I remember just seeing the the it pop up and in, in on Facebook. It was like, this guy's out. Oh man! Oh, I immediately went to listen to the fan as soon as like I got a tweet that said, "Hey, John Daniels is fired." Uh, it, he knew it was coming. I mean, six years without a playoff. It'll it'll do it to you. Do you think like for the past year he's been putting his Indeed resume out there, <laughs> <laughs> just like it's it's bound to happen. We ride this. Uh, I'm gonna ride this wave until I'm completely out. But you know, just in case, let's have some contingency Dude, plans. For the longest time, though, I mean, of course, we praised him during the um, World Series runs we had here and some of the great playoff runs we also had, but we just didn't capitalize. Um, I mean, it's not just him. It's also the players, but we haven't really done much with the money. We spent so much on... Yeah, uh, what, pitching? Yeah, uh, pitching. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but I mean, we, we've... I mean, it was time. Um, in other sports, Manchester United defeated Liverpool 2-1 to get their first win of the of the year. That, and that's soccer. Season. It's or a Premier League soccer. Football, if you're from across such the pond. A, such a horrible game uh, Liverpool played. So so poor. Like, they played like fools. I mean, what can be said about Liverpool that can be described like a trash can? I'm not sure. Such garbage play. <laughs> horrible passing. I mean, they deserve to lose that game. And wow. are we bringing in the soccer because of our friend Lance? Yes. One can say Liverpool should be relegated. They should be relegated to, you know, they should be rele- relegated. Wow. So, yeah, it really does suck for them. Uh, glory, glory, Man United. That's uh, <laughs> that's sports. <laughs> and that was actually I sports. I wonder what team you like. Air. What team do I like? <laughs> <laughs> I really just wanted to piss Lance off. Yeah, well, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my. Sorry, buddy. Oh, goodness. So, while you were gone... We had uh, we had someone fill in for your your voice because it's Javier, I heard because people it, you don't know. I mean, I do. I mean, heard him. You don't know. <laughs> uh, people people want that voice, and uh, damn it, we're gonna have to give it to them. So with with further ado, since you've without gone, further ado, and now it's time for news with Tim. Take it away, Tim. Thank you, Chadley. Glad you're back. All right, so uh, just a couple of things to go over uh, real quick. Uh, to tie into the sports that we just covered, I, it kind of ties into the rain, too. Did you happen to see what happened to uh, our fancy private school to the east of us over in Dallas, SMU? No, tell me, no. please. So they're going to have a little issue with their turf. All this rain soaked into that turf, and they've got a huge fucking bubble. What do you mean a bubble? It's a bubble like the whole turf is now like this big at the 15 yard line is a gigantic like looks like a fucking earth pimple. How does that happen? I don't know. But it, it so apparently it, it they start they put up some pictures of it and they they're trying to they get a turf company coming out to try to find out why what's happening and how they're going to fix it. it. That's what I was you saying. Just you just got to poke, poke it. it. But what if they poke it and it opens up to another dimension? Yeah, we're talking Stranger Things type thing, like type world, right? Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm ready for the upside like down. Straight to the UMS. <laughs> it's backwards SMU. <laughs> see, what I, see what I did there? Go back to Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so SMU doesn't play a home game until September 10th, so they've got a little bit of time to figure out like what the fuck they're gonna do. They just need to ram two buses on opposite yeah. ends and just. I hope they. It. I hope <laughs> co- comically large uh, Q-tips come out. Uh, <laughs> They got uh, Dr. Pimple Popper is looking at this right now. Uh, right. She is uh, she is on, on the it. phone trying to figure out exactly how they're going to take care of it. This is a job of a lifetime. It is. It is. Mean? This is going to be the pop of a lifetime. This is going to it's going to get so many hits on YouTube. Is this going to overtake the um, impl- the implosion of Texas Stadium? You think, man, if. OK, so ever since Texas Stadium was imploded, we started having earthquakes and stuff around here. Um, that's, around, that's that yeah, yeah, oh, yes, it's a hundred percent true. Yeah. That's one of your conspiracy it, theories. It, sh- it happened shortly after. I think we upset the uh, gods. The Cowboys haven't done well. <laughs> the gods, you say? The Cowboys haven't done that great right. um, since the implosion of Texas Stadium. Well, it was before that, but well, all I know okay. is um, well, SMU can go straight to he double hockey sticks. That wasn't but very good. Speaking of the the, the <laughs> speaking were of the you weather, waiting to say that <laughs> yes. the entire like you were I waiting. Was, uh, it was, was waiting. It wasn't, it wasn't I'm sorry. Great. 
Uh, speaking of the weather, though, that's been uh, plaguing our area with all the flooding, which was insane. Uh, there is a couple. There's actually one good thing that that came out from that. Um, all the flood memes. So there's been a ton of DFW based flood memes. Yeah. One of my favorites is there's a picture where they superimposed a bunch of people in floats and. Oh, DFW, yeah. At the river. Yeah. Yeah. Float the river. <laughs> yeah, Dallas River. Or Dallas that Trinity. I $10 or whatever. Check. I thought it was real. It looked real. It did look real. I was like, well, this sounds like a good time. But I guess. No, oh, I mean, I guess capitalism, right? Because they're they, they, they got to capitalize on what's happened. I yeah. would step foot in that river. No, no like it's no. one thing over in Fort Worth and that's kind of questionable. But Dallas is a whole nother ball game. Yeah, that that river over there is disgusting. Wouldn't it be yeah. funny if there were like bodies that floated up and like got into like. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise yeah. me. I remember one time uh, I went over to Dallas with Mike the bike, and we were riding our bikes over there uh, off the Trinity. I was like, "Oh, it's it's the Trinity. It should be like Fort Worth because oh yeah, our Trinity's beautiful." To yeah, they don't maintain bike. their trails or nothing. No, yeah, uh-uh. parts of it like stunk, and then parts of it were like just there was a dead end. And you're yeah, like, there oh, was a homeless just, guy having a soup kitchen type it situation. Weird. It what? was not. It was not a you great uh, ride. They were all something. screwing, having an orgy in the car. I think we just need yeah. to say Dallas just. Sucks. Yeah, Dallas does suck. Dallas sucks. Anyways, suck me, Dallas. So a couple of the memes that have popped up. Meanwhile, in North Texas, there's a there's a Loch Ness mar- monster in the uh, in the Trinity River. Um, only in Texas, flooding everywhere. But there's a uh, there's still a line at the Whataburger. <laughs> uh, so some great memes that have come up. Now before this though, we were we were straight up in this like heavy drought, right? And that's yeah. actually what contributed part of the the flooding. But one good thing has come from the drought. Uh, if you're not familiar with North Texas, those listening to us, we have an area of uh, just outside about, I would say about an hour, hour and a half, uh, Dino Valley. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rose, right? right. Yeah. So because the water is so low, they actually uncovered some new dinosaur tracks and oh, they were cool. out there measuring it and getting more data and seeing exactly like the I'm not going to pronounce the dinosaur's name. It, and a, now they floated away. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. It's now they can't see him anymore. Um, it was a it was akin to the uh, T Rex. It's like a smaller version of T Rex. So baby T Rex. Baby T Rex. No, bigger than a raptor. Smaller than T Rex. Tiny shark. arms. All baby that good shark. stuff. Raptor Rex. Yeah, Raptor Rex. Um, they found uh, more tracks. That should be a rapper's name. Raptor Rex. Raptor Rex. They're probably That's a pretty good rapper name. You want to see if Lou Charles wants to change his name? No. 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 I think he just needs me to feature as Raptor Rex. Raptor Rex. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's something cool that's happened now. And then something even cooler that is happening in, in Fort Worth that we just got word of is that Ludacris is going to be playing here in the stockyard. It's well, Lou we, and we the Ludacris. That. But the, the cool part. But the cool part is, is that Lou is going to be performing with Ludacris. But the even cooler part is Lou's going to have Raptor Rex up there with him, which is me. And it's going to be this whole thing. Yeah. It's going to be this. Lou and Luda. It's going to be fantastic. It's a Lou Luda party. Right. That, right. that sounds so good Ain't together, no party right? Like oh. a Lou Luda party. What day is that? Uh, what day is that coming up? October twenty uh, second. October twenty second. I did not yeah. plan on going. I mean, like Ludacris would be great, but now that Lou's playing, I'm like, well, I mean, you, you, we got to go, right? Like, you got to yeah. go. Get back, motherfucker! You don't know me like that. Do you think he's gonna do all his hits? Like Luda? the yeah. Hell no! He's got he's got quite the portfolio. The catalog. Do you real. think they're gonna do yeah. some of his hits? Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, they're gonna play his hits. So. On the Mudvayne concert I went to, they did 20 songs. Yeah. That's insane. And they songs they played for a very long... Yeah, they were all they were all hit bangers from 2000. So if Ludacris ain't bringing that, yeah. I'm still going to go. That's a cool shirt know. idea, uh, looking at the chat. Who is Luda? That, that'd be a cool... That'd be a cool shirt. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We could sell them out, outside the outside the thing. <laughs> We're gonna steal Lou Charles' profits. We have to wear we have to wear masks though, so that way he doesn't see his yeah. merch profits are all ours. He's gonna jump on. He's like, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> um, Chad, can you pronounce that that dinosaur name? That uh, absolutely, Teresa? it is the Paluxysaurus. Hey, there we go, <laughs> Paluxysaurus. Because I don't. It know is the Paluxy. It's not okay. the Paluxy from Paluxy. It's, it's, it's I the, Pelux- do the Paluxy rivers out there. It actually starts the. So, the source starts with an A, and I don't even think it has source in it. To be honest with you. Okay, well yeah, that's anyways. a lie because all dinosaurs have source in it. All time. Di- that, that's <laughs> called herpes, buddy. Not, <laughs> they all have sores. Maybe it's monkeypox, <laughs> dinopox. Yeah, we could get in the monkey. I'm not going to no, though. You no, said no, that no. asking about news, and I'm like, no. Like you had like a, it was like a thing about monkeypox, a news thing about. No, it was. I was like, no. I was drunk when I sent it. Yeah, I was like, I, I, don't remember what I it was looked about. that it was about. It was literally a news. I, brought, don't, I look, don't think it was. Hey, it was. 
it was a news broadcast yeah. like Fox News or something about monkeypox and how it how it's it's affecting everyone. There had to have been something funny. There about wasn't it. anything. I watched it. I was like. Listen, I wouldn't send you news if there wasn't something. A little I was funny watching about it. it, unless you find monkeypox funny, which no, I find it disturbing. It like, is. I, it it makes my skin crawl. It I is kind of funny, right? No. Breaking news: right. monkeypox now infected by Chad and Tim. Wow, how did y'all get? I do have these bumps pox. on my arm. Oh God. Anyways, that that's all I got for <laughs> news. So uh, let me uh, let me just kick off a little outro music there. Luda. And that was news with me. <laughs> okay. So let's get in the meat and potatoes of the show. This is the uh, the show about Chad's triumphant return from Egypt. Oh, hi, Chad. Where he's oh, led uh, a series of homeless people back here. Is that how that works? Let my people go. I don't know what's going on at the moment. Oh, we're having a good time. Okay. All right, anyways. Who's so we? <laughs> the, the people in the chat. The people. The, the people, man. The people. The, pe- this, the, the, people. the people come here to hear what we're, what we're spilling right now. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Seed. So tell us about your trip, man. Oh yeah, you've man. You've been wanting to get you've been wanting to get into this. I know you've been wanting to get into this. I've I've seen some of your pictures and everything, but I I want to hear. He rolled his eyes. He said, "I saw I've some of your pictures. seen some of your pictures." You know, yeah. Um, especially the one where I, I had to comment on there because it was like people don't need to call you a model. Oh. It's gonna go to your head. It's gonna go to your fucking head. It didn't, but I saw how upset it made it, you. It. I, I was like, we don't need it going to his head. Well, he's everyone. Our, he's who our, said it. Uh, it was Robin. No, it, it was Robin. No, Robin it said it. Robin. Was Robin, it Robin. Robin said it. Yeah, I think it was Paul from. Uh, or no, Paul. Paul was saying things too from Nexum Creative. Yeah. But I know, it was just bo- one picture. They just both. One picture. They both were feeding into you, bud. I was just fine. I didn't yeah. take anything. I think. I think. But everyone was. Uh, you you like, came back feeling. I, you had some Big Panther energy, and I feel oh, like it was yeah. a little bit too much. I will say that I feel Big Panther energy, but like I haven't taken a big trip in a while. And so being con- gone two weeks and yeah. getting to hang out with uh, Jesus and Crystal for two weeks and getting to do all the things that we did, like, yeah, I definitely feel like uh, recharged a bit. Do you? Yeah. Good. I mean, now that I slept last night, because it was a long <laughs> fucking weekend for birthday <laughs> shit. Like, it was a long weekend. Yeah. I did not really sleep. But yeah, man. So I brought y'all back some snacks. I don't really even know where to start, but Hooray! like, let's start with no. Let's start with the, uh, the cinnamon, cinnamon roll. roll. Yeah, that yeah. yeah. That they have been sitting there now, not hot anymore. It's fine. All I right. Mean, it's not going to be as good as I, I, what I want y'all fresh. to get is. It's just a taste of it to realize. Okay. like This uh, fresh puts Ginger Browns to shame. Like Ginger Brown oh, tastes man. like wheat toast. For, first off, go into detail about what what we're about to have. All right. Okay. So the first time I went to Egypt last year, right? Like Jesus and Crystal, they lived kind of close to this bakery called Ratios. And I didn't realize like you think of Egypt, you think of sand desert pyramids. No, right? I think of, I think of culture and the epitome of culinary experiences. I fucking hate you. I know you're a <laughs> lying sack of shit. Come on, dude. But like I I had no idea that like Honestly, they were telling me, I don't know if this is true, but I think it is, like pastries actually were invented in Egypt. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. But then they were just kind of like, okay, we did it and we're done. And then, you know, Europeans, like (laughs) French and stuff, they took it and made it good. I was about to say, like, they made pastries, but they never, like, they never actually, like, perfected it. It was just like, this is it. This is what it is. This is a pastry. Right. Take take it and, and, and do whatever you will. Right. Eat my food. But this place, Ratios, has got, like, the best... It's the best bakery I've ever been to. What's their reviews like on Google? Pretty <laughs> pretty high? <laughs> Probably pretty good. What's their Yelp score? Yeah. I have no idea. I have no idea. All right, we'll check that They're out. They're about to get ratioed. But All like right. uh so Hazy's and Crystal now will live like two blocks from oh, there. Which so is dangerous. Nice. Walking distance. Oh yeah, yeah definitely walking uh-huh. distance. If we weren't gone the majority of that trip, because we were all over the place, which we'll get into, like we were only actually at their place for two days and we went to ratios both days. Like it was just so good. So yeah, let's grab okay. uh, let's grab yeah, a piece. Let's, right let's grab a piece. I'm gonna I'm gonna hand it this way. All right, tall boy, give us our pieces. Go Chad ahead. gets the middle piece because it's his birthday. Go ahead. No, this is this is for you boys. I want you to savor this and enjoy it. So, uh, cinnamon then roll. They put it. icing on top of it, uh, which mm. makes it even more like mm. deadly. Mm. Yeah. How is it? I mean, it's not fresh, but how is it? Mm. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's flaky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's still good. Consistency's good. Mm. It's still good. Um, it's no three pound uh, oh, cinnamon good. roll from San Antonio. No, this is really good. But no, this, this is, is fantastic. Like, this is, is better good. than that. Culinary, um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a masterpiece. This really. is kind of like a Mexican, um, like a um, buck. What is it? 
Mm. I don't know, but this shit's fucking good. It is. I I, I don't know what it's called either, yeah. but I it, I've had something yeah. from one of like the uh, pon- yeah. Poneria, yeah. Yeah. You know what it is? It's the <laughs> it's the pineapple fil- <laughs> filled one. <laughs> You're disgusting. This is fucking delicious. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it is. This is a cinnamon roll croissant. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. That's what he's used said too. Mm-hmm. That's right. Because it's so flaky, but then it's dense as shit too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chrissy's mm-hmm. saying that the three pound cinnamon roll place is closed. It is closed, and, and that sucks. Because last time I went to San Antonio, I really wanted to go there. That's it was Lulu's mm-hmm. Bakery, or yeah, whatever. Right, mm-hmm. but their their chicken fried steak was good. That was what I was wanting to go for. Roll the cinnamon roll was gimmicky. A gimmick. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but the regular cinnamon rolls were really good. The smaller ones. But the chicken fried steak was fantastic. This is kind of like um um like a croissant almost, <laughs> like um yeah uh huh uh huh. You know Tim just said that right? Did he? I'm I'm paying attention. Huh? Yeah, it's it's a cinnamon roll croissant. We could make this. This is fucking good. Maybe not as good as this, mm, but no. we can make it. Mm. So you know this is like my favorite thing they have, but they've got so much stuff. Mm. Like they do make a, a shit ton of different kinds of croissants. Mm. Like um, it's still it's still very moist. Meat and cheese croissants, cheese croissants, mm. um, chocolate mm. croissants, and regular. Mm. But then they have, I tried something new this time. They had a citrus version of this. So instead of like a cinnamon roll, it was kind of like a um, like orange. Yeah, orange. Like they use zest in the icing and stuff, and it was so good. It was yeah, amazing. I can see that. I've had so something good. similar to that. Yeah, it's it's literally a buttery <laughs> croissant made into cinnamon roll. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, it really was. Um, looking at oh, care, uh, actually, your mom's like pictures. I loved it. I just love how much fun she had. Like, it was, I think it was the best part of seeing all those pictures. Yeah, Teresa, I think you're saying croissant and not cro- cronut. But yes, no. if you're saying croissant, yes, croissant no, meets, cronut, cronut, meets croissant, cronut, croissant donut, croissant donut. Have you had a cro- yeah? What is that place called? A uh, parlor donuts or something no, like that? No, they yeah. make a croissant donut. Yeah, yeah. it's like a chain. It's and called they a make cronut. A, yeah, it's a that's cronut. a real thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to try that. This is this is way better than that. I though. like how he was trying to mansplain. No, 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 yeah. Teresa. I thought she just misspelled it. I was like cronut, cronut. A cronut is a croissant donut. Okay, yeah, cool. I've never heard of that. It's yeah, like, Tim, you piece of shit. <laughs> All Sorry, right. Teresa, for him mansplaining. I'm it. not mansplaining. I was like, I, thought, I think you meant. Hey, you got some cinnamon roll on your. Mustache. I've got cinnamon roll all over my face, and I'm saving it. <laughs> Flavor saver. God. So, uh, you know, I went. I went to Egypt uh, to go see Jesus. I hope this about makes people year, uncomfortable. A year and a half ago, and making me feel uncomfortable. He's just like, why are they both so gross? They're just so gross. So I went. I had an amazing time. You know, you go again, you expect all desert, and there's just so much to do there. And, like, I was dead set on bringing my parents because I wanted to go diving the Red Sea. Yeah. Because we got to do some snorkeling, but we didn't get to dive. And so my parents had been looking forward to this fucking trip for over a year now. And riding a camel. <laughs> we were supposed to go in March, right? Your but mom they, lost weight purposefully to ride a camel, I think. Right. I think that's did. what she said, yeah. Which she was not big, but she was, like, so worried about getting on a camel and so she lost all this weight. She, she looks, looks fantastic. Um, and the pictures all turned out great. So, I mean, good for her. I'm Let's very, be real. Your mom's always looked fantastic. And I'm just very... Your mom's a beautiful lady. Uh, thank you all. Uh, she is. I so, hope Carolyn's listening to us. <laughs> Mike's going to be like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mike invites both of us over to the house just to drown us in the pool. I know. So is Chad coming? No, just you two motherfuckers. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I was, I was pretty proud of them because this whole thing was new for them. Right? Yeah. They had not ever left. They went to the Caribbean, right? We've been to cruises. But they've never been like, like out, out. Yeah, like, like overseas trip, yeah. right? So this is a big deal for them. Um, first day there, we got to ride the camel at the pyramid, which is like the number one thing my mom wanted to do. Um, and then the next day, we flew out to the Red Sea, and we were there for a week. It was in situ- essentially like a, a beach vacation. Like half of our trip was a beach vacation. Can I ask you something about no, the... No, you can't. Moving on. So <laughs> about the... the, the What's it called? The pyramids where the camel was? Yeah. So I saw a video where this guy's like, there's scammers all over there, and they blow their whistle at you, acting as if you're not supposed to walk where you're walking. Yeah. Is that really a thing? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You... I mean, it's just like going to like some touristy place in Mexico, like if you're going to Chichen Itza or something like that, yeah. like or or even like uh, the Eiffel Tower in, in in Paris. Okay, like there's gonna be people trying to sell you shit. There's gonna be people like whistling, telling you that you're doing the wrong thing. There's people that give you something and they say, "Hey, this is free. This is free," and they're like, "Give me money. I told you it wasn't free." It's like it's constantly, but you just got to be smart about it. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't 
let anyone offer you anything. Just mind your own business and do your thing. But yes, I also was shit like that I all told the time. like you have to make sure they actually uh, turn the meter on on the uh, taxis if you take one. Yeah, so I'm you know I'm pretty fortunate because like well first off there's Uber too, okay. so you don't have to mess with that a whole lot. But like Jesus and Crystal have been there so long that like they know a lot of people. So like now I've got all of these people for next time if I go like these drivers and stuff like that that are already set up You're like hey Ahmed like I need I need a driver I'm gonna be from here to here and he'll like send somebody so dude's way. name Ahmed yeah well not, yeah don't be yeah no 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 because you know there was that whole Jeff Dunham thing. no come on I'm man. just saying like no okay <laughs> this guy what's funny is he remi- he was like he was essentially like an Egyptian JD like our buddy oh, JD man. So he all, was like all hype yeah he was just kind of short come on with like, it. <laughs> he was like super into it he's like let me get you my people let me get you my pe- this is my whole business he drove a Mercedes like dude had it going on <laughs> like he was killing it but he looked he kind of looked and acted like JD it was just cracking me up but uh hey, no. wait, see jokes on you it was JD it was JD <laughs> JD's got a new side hustle that's in Egypt <laughs> but no like so like I mean that's kind of how it is is like you find these people yeah. that like know people it's kind of like, kinda like uh, when we were in Cuba we found that one guy that dri- yeah the driver yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, my buddy drives, and you're like, okay, cool. And then you know you've got this whole chain of people that kind of help you out with these random, various different things. And so, um, yeah, same thing. So yeah, it was great. No, there was you, you kind of have scammers, but yeah. you just got to be smart, just like anywhere else. So flying from uh, Cairo, you flew to the Sinai Peninsula. I actually looked up flights. Those things are cheap. Oh yeah, it was like a hundred bucks round trip. Was Sounds one like I found. Right I was like, it was like a hundred seventy five round trip. I yeah, think is what yeah. we did. But yeah, it's it's pretty cheap. I mean, you're you're essentially going like from here to houston or you know yeah. so i mean like houston houston flights are cheap i've never done that really we should do that Why? fly to houston instead of driving to houston why are we nah. gonna fly to houston no nah, but even if you're gonna like new orleans that's a pretty that's only uh, a, what eight hour a, drive and it's a yeah, usually, it's hour and a half flight yeah and it's really cheap so okay. we went over the red sea we went to charm which i didn't get to do last time i think it's charm el chic i think is the full name but i think like, you mean charmin no that's where paper. that's where they're made no yeah and uh, dude, we did two full days of scuba diving, and it was like how how many tanks? Uh, two tank dives. Two tank dive, so, yeah, so each day. Two two dives each day. Again, Jesus and Crystal, they've met all these people over yeah. there, and so they knew the people that run the whole scuba diving. Like that's their oh. business. The guy, it was uh, G and V. Uh, his dad has run this business for thirty years out there. Oh wow! He, he's he, I think she was from South America. No, no, she was Italian. And he was uh, from England. I mean, like, you know, there's so many people there that are not from Egypt, right? From, like, yeah. uh, different parts of Europe and South America and Australia and things like that. But um, they have two boats, and they constantly, every single day, they're running these sh- these trips trains. for people, right? Nope, not trains. <laughs> and so... Dive trains. <laughs> dive trains. Ooh, jump on the dive train. Yeah, blow job on a boat. Nope. That's... <laughs> Is that what the drive train is? <laughs> yep. Dive train? Uh, that's blow job in the Red Sea. Um, Ooh, wait. A little, a little salty. But you know, like when we, we went diving in yeah, like yeah, Grand Canyon, yeah, yeah, yeah. we've been to Mexico, right. but like it's always kind of, kind of, uh, like you get anxious because you're with people that you don't know. Yeah. And they're like very strict about like do this and do that and make sure you're not doing that. It was so comfortable because like everyone was like dancing on they the boat, were just having like, a good do time. Do whatever the fuck you want. No, they no. were they were still very okay. like making sure that we were safe. We're safe, but, I have but a, fun. I have a question, but I, safe. I do have yeah. a question about diving. Is this like a white white only thing? No, because I've never seen. You know, you know that Jesus and Crystal were doing it too, right? Yeah, but because you drag them over there. No, no, no they no, I they didn't. they they got certified. I know. I was just making that. Yeah, ha ha. It was for, who? for himself. For me. You racist bitch. <laughs> oh, how dare you? Oh my! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> now we got to get Javier to uh, get over his fear and dive. Right. Yeah. I don't have a fear of diving. I have a fear of flying. You have a fear of drowning. I mean, yeah. Well, if I have tanks, I mean, it's fine. Is it? Like, yeah. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm I'm snorkeling. Let's put your money where your mouth is. How would uh, yeah Just fucking do it? Put I, your mouth where your mouth look, is. Look, I know I know a guy who runs that scuba place over yeah. here, um, and he said anytime that I want to go do some training, I can because they they train at like the Wesleyan pool or yeah, that's where I got that. my yeah license. usually I had to go to uh, the YMCA though because they were uh, they were fixing the Wesleyan pool. 
But holler, my friend Barry. I gotta, I gotta go over there, man. It's just a you've got to get your license. license man. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. It is. I, I know that I've talked about this with all of our friends. For I mean, I got my license when I was like thirteen. Dude, and I ultimately got mine because we did that Grand Cayman trip, right? And I was like, I need to get my dive. I really want to go diving. I'm so, so glad I you went did. did yeah. Wasn't that amazing? It like, was doing that shipwreck. It's amazing. Yeah. So like I've been saying it for years, and Hazy's and Crystal didn't. They definitely did not do it because of me, because they don't give a shit. But they did it because their friends there, Joe and Rich, they talked them into it, and uh, and they're so glad they did both of them because they just it was it was really cool to be able to do that with a whole group of people um like you know my stepdad and jesus crystal their friends from there as well um and you're you got the, your whole crew there yeah. kind of diving and having this entire experience because it's hard to come up from the water and tell people the things that you saw and well, the that you experienced yeah and i haven't even gotten all the video but even the video like it never comes out the way it should because you, you get down you know 50 60 feet and you're missing some of that light and so you're not really seeing what you're seeing on some of that video right but uh we did the first two dives that first day it was really really cool i mean like beautiful coral it's crazy because the red sea gets like super deep really quick like real quick it'll drop off you'll see a wall and it's like it's 20 feet and all of a sudden it's 200 feet like it's just crazy um i will say that day two though the the best dive i've ever done in my entire life it's kind of hard to explain but like we got dropped off our group did and we started swimming and i mean i think i told you 50 feet my yeah, yeah. is about 100 foot clarity and so it's about 100 foot clarity and like you're you're looking in all directions and all you see is blue like we were that deep and away from all the corals and stuff it's like you're in space it's like you're just in the middle of nowhere it i was like insane. that it whenever was, whenever you're that deep you don't get like sea blindness what is sea blindness? Well, you know, it's like where well, you don't know, like, you, up, up is down. So and, you can, but you oh, know yeah. how you do that? You just blow bubbles and look which way they go. Right. And then you figure it out, so you're fine. Okay. But, but, yeah, like, you, you definitely you, don't know which yeah. way things are. Like, we were just following our instructor, not our instructor, but our lead guy. We were just yeah. following him because he could have taken us straight to the abyss, and I would have when, just followed uh, him into When it. Jesse did that exploring, like, explore diving thing, yeah, she is such a stickler to, like, I have to stay with the instructor. Right. And so she was just like, I'm over here having the time of my life, you know, even though we're like 15 feet down, just looking at everything, having a good time. But she's like, right. Like I have to, I have to see that instructor. Yeah, yeah. I have to see that instructor. So I don't, I don't know how she would do. <laughs> so I'll be honest like with you. Like, you know, my, my dad's the one that got me into diving, but he's getting, he's getting a little old. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I was a little worried about him. And so the first three dives, I was looking back at him. I was looking for our instructor. I was making sure everyone was together. Um, and so I was kind of, I was having a good time, obviously. But I, I you, you get anxiety. You were playing some uh, mama, mama Bear? A little bit, yeah. right? On the fourth dive, which is the most beautiful one, I didn't care about anyone like if someone might could have just gone and died and i would oh not have God. died i honestly would not have known like i was just oh i thought you were gonna say i wouldn't have cared no like, i would have cared you're such a horrible after horrible the person. dive was yeah. over i seriously would have cared but yeah, yeah. during the dive no not you're my problem. horrible son the, see i'm in the moment that, like the whole time like when we went to the shipwreck dive yeah like i'm not paying attention to any of like other than like i know we're going this way but i'm like in the moment i don't care like right i'll occasionally look and make sure you're okay since we were my dive buddy but right Outside of that, yeah. So we get through this blue abyss, and then you kind of finally come upon this, like, wall of coral, right? And it goes as high up as, you know, obviously the top of the water, and it goes down until you can't see anymore. It was just this, it, like, legitimate wall, wall it was of like coral. like a blue hole situation? It's kind of like where it's just, like, all this, I mean, where it's shallow up top, and then just, you're talking about it just, just drops. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so we're coming up on this, like, wall. Uh, we're swimming up on it. And then all of a sudden, there's this current that grabs you. And so you're not moving at all. Like, I'm literally kind of sitting on my feet. And the current is pulling us around this entire wall. It was bizarre. It was like I was watching this movie, come, like, move in front of me of all these corals and fish Is and it stuff. like Finding Nemo where they get into the current and it just, you know. Yeah, with the, with the turtles yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that's so exactly you were, how it was. You were trying to describe this to me while you were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you're like. I wasn't moving, and I'm sitting here like, then how is, sh like, so, like, the coral's just moving past you? My body was like, not swimming. I got you. Yeah, I yeah, get yeah. it now. Like, okay. you, you, the way you were explaining it to me, I was like, man, this yeah, makes no right. sense. Yeah, my body wasn't, like, I wasn't swimming, but, like, the current had picked me yeah. up, and, like, for about, I would say, three to five minutes, like, we were just sitting there, and it's taking us around this entire wall of coral. 
Uh, and it was crazy because like I, I have very vivid dreams. I always have since I was a kid. And I've had this recurring dream since I was a kid of like me being underwater and like whales going in front of me and corals and sharks and all this stuff. And I felt like I was in that dream. At oh. that moment, I felt like I was in this dream that I've had over and over and over again since I was a kid. It was kind of a, it was kind of a surreal experience. But yeah, best dive. That was at um, the um, uh, Ram Muhammad National Park there at the Red Sea. But yeah, I would highly recommend that if, if you dive. Um, some of the people that we were diving with, again, from all over the world, right? People are flying in from England, from Australia and all these places. And I'm asking them, and I was like, where's the best place you've ever dove? Some people said the Maldives, but about half the people said that dive we just did was the best dive I've ever done in my life. Which is good to hear because nice. I definitely don't have a yeah. hundred dives under my belt. No, you know no, I mean? no, yeah. Some of these people have like hundreds and hundreds of dives under their belt. So it was cool, man. It was it was so so cool to to experience that. So uh, here's some tomato chips. Cool. <laughs> All, right. All right, look, I got to clarify something. I was I kept watching you. I know I was your dive partner, but you were so far Explain up. Explain yourself for the All people right. that are not on the chat. So Jesse's saying that. Uh, that I was supposed to be your dive partner, and I, I wasn't. I, I was paying attention, but like, yes, I was trying to live in the moment and enjoy it. They smell like ketchup. They taste like ketchup. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna eat one more, but mm. it tastes like McDonald's ketchup. Mm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So those are like uh, what, like mm. ruffles, yeah. basically? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like mm. ruffles, but they're just tomato flavored. Mm. Have you seen the uh, Funyun flavored wavy lays? Why not just eat Funyuns? No. Mm. Exactly, but I like these. These are pretty good. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't hate them. They're they're the, on the bag though. Mm. It says uh, wavy lace Funyun flavored mm. onion flavored Funyun rings or something like that. Yeah, it's like a real long name. Anyways, I don't know how I feel about those either, and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> so, um, so we were in Charm for a couple of days. Uh, we went to Dahab, which is kind of like this little beach town that overlooks the water, and we kind of chilled, did some snorkeling, drank a lot, ate some great fish. Um, we went to, we, hey, will you go grab some cups? Actually, some like small cups. Yeah, I can do that. Here, Thanks, Boo Boo. I'll get them. I'll be here. I'll get them. Okay. Like the votives or like the. Um, well, we're going to, are we, y'all want beer? I don't no? want beer, man. Okay. I'm then we're not going to do the beer. We're just going to no. do this. So yeah, just enough. Like the, the vote was work. So I, I, I'm eyeballing that and I'm, I'm kind of concerned cause I don't typically go for like the zero drinks. Okay. And so like, just take a sip. Yeah. I'm going to take a sip. I'm, I'm going to drink more than just a sip, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Like, do they make that in a regular, uh, like non-zero? We did. I didn't see it. No. So, so it might be just a zero flavored version. So. Yeah. Something that I I've always wanted to do is go to Petra, right? Like right. it was in Indiana Jones. You see it in all these like influencers and travelers and all these people that go to this this treasury that is in this yes. valley in this side of this mountain, essentially, right? And it's also one of the the wonders of the world. And so we we uh, it was the longest day. It was the longest day. Uh, and I'm proud of my parents for doing it, but like they were both grumpy like and, worn and out bears. by the end yeah, yeah you would have been awful you would have been oh no i can't even imagine what you would have been like so, after this trip no 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 for things like that i'm pretty good about like listen we got up at 2 30 a.m so okay. we only had two we, we went to bed around 11 so like three hours of sleep right well see that was we your mistake up. i would have been in bed at like six it's vacation come on and then we had um we had a, a two hour bus ride a one-hour boat ride and a three-hour bus ride, and then a two-mile walk before we ever got there. All right. And then we had to do it all over again coming back. Back yeah. two miles, back three. Yeah, three. No, I know. You do things in reverse. I, I get it. <laughs> I'm just making sure you yeah, understand. No, I get it. So the, the problem is is that you, you stayed up instead of they stayed up. You, you do this because you don't sleep, but they stayed up. That was the issue. Had they gone to bed at a normal time and then got up at two thirty, yeah, but we all slept on the bus. You know what I mean? Like, you, but do you really sleep on the bus? I mean, not great in a but third world country. Your eyes are, you are closed. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you consider sleeping? Yeah, Jordan's not a. Is Jordan a third world country? Dude, they all are over there, man. They, they really are. Like, there's only you have you don't have any middle class typically. So we didn't really stop much, but we did stop at one like convenience store for people to go to the bathroom and people to grab a drink. And one of the beverages there in Jordan was this lemon lime Coca Cola, and I've never seen this before in my life. They didn't have it in Egypt. Like this was like a Jordan special, and so I I 
I thought it was interesting. Okay, but let me let's see what y'all think. Cheers. So wait, is it like a Sprite situation? Like if you did like the suicide with it's Sprite? It's a lemon Coke? lime Coke. No, I get it, but like try it first and let me know what you think. Maybe it's because I still have the tomato chips in my mouth, but I can't taste the lemon lime. Man, I just taste artificial sweetener. So it it does to answer your question. I think that it just tastes like someone poured Coca Cola and, and Sprite, Sprite together. And that was yeah, it. <laughs> I think that's bad, what it is. No, but like you definitely taste Sprite and Coca Cola. So so real quick again for those that don't know where Petra is, or if they're not familiar with it, if you've seen Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. That's where they find the Grail, the cup, yeah, Holy you Grail. Don't make the sure that Ark you get the covenant. You got to make sure that you get the, uh, the right one. Yeah, you got to pick the uh, the don't, carpenter don't one. Don't pick the pretty one. No. Pick the one that looks like some wood. Right, yes. right. So yeah, that was that was in Jordan. Did they have that all set up in there. No, you couldn't actually go inside the treasury. Uh, you get to see it from the outside and, and walk around and do a bunch of stuff, but you can't go inside. I wonder how you could get inside. I mean, illegally. I I mean, I guess. You gotta go at night. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> sorry. If you haven't seen Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, it's been 30 years. <laughs> yeah, don't spoil alert us. <laughs> if you haven't seen Indiana Jones, that's on you. Yeah, we can't uh, We we can't not spoil that, I guess. Nom, nom, you know. nom, Interesting. Nom, nom, nom. It's, it's, it, it is. It's definitely uh, it's definitely Coke and, and Sprite. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, we, we did Petra. That was really cool. So that knocked off. The only, the only wonders of the world I have left are now Taj Mahal, um, Christ the Redeemer in, in Brazil, and then Machu Picchu, and then I'm done. But is that the new wonders? Yeah. Not the old wonders. Because the old wonders don't exist anymore. The only old wonder that still exists is the pyramids. Yeah, so you saw that. And so there's seven new wonders plus the pyramids. So it's, uh, technically there's eight wonders. I okay. thought Mount Everest was a wonder. No. Oh, no. you mean like... Um Oh, like man-made things. Like, like you mean like, I wonder what's up there? I wonder what's up there. <laughs> I wonder, he says. <laughs> so stupid. Listen here, see? What's up that damn mountain? Mm, a bunch of people, uh, dead people. Uh-uh. They do have that. They, of, yeah, they got uh-uh. that part where it's uh, the, rainbow, the Rainbow Road or yeah, something like that, where yeah. it has all the dead hikers up there. Like straight up. They can't get them off there. And Actually, the Rainbow color. Road's one of the wonders. They wear oh, the- for Mario Kart? Yeah. <laughs> cool. That makes sense. Fuck that. Fuck that level because it's the hardest it's, level. It's a bullshit know, level. keep falling off. All right, all right. So what else we got here? You got a whole slew of things, right? Oh, yeah. Slew. A whole slew of Let's things. Let's go with another bag of tiger chips. This one's kebab. Tiger. No, so I like kebab. Tiger uppercut. I see your eyes light yeah, up. Yeah, I'm so actually I, excited. I, I'm like excited like about kebab. that. I think uh, it's pronounced kebab. Kebab. That's one of my favorite kebab. things at Biblos. And that's pronounced Biblos. <laughs> Biblo. <laughs> Mm. That tastes like a grilled piece of meat. It does smell like a kebab meat. It really does. Mm. It's very smoky. Yeah, I like that. But not like our shitty barbecue chips here. It's like, no. that's how barbecue mm. chips should taste. That's exactly how barbecue chips This sh- is how barbecue mm. chips should taste. Huh. Not barbecue sauce flavored. This yeah. is this is like grilled meat, meat flavored. Yeah. Right. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Ooh, it's like it I was just grilling burgers or something. Mm, yeah. yeah, it does. I can smell the, the smokiness. Mm, I get behind nom, that. Nom, nom. Yeah, that's good stuff. You get behind anything. I buddy. wonder if we can get... <laughs> For the, and anyone for the right amount of money, I guess maybe I don't know. Twenty dollars um, is twenty dollars. I wonder it, can can we get those like nom, here? Nom, like nom, nom, nom. I mean, there's all sorts of people that like import different snacks and I'm stuff. Sure you can. I'm sure yeah. if you go to the right market you for the for a price, that's pretty good. Um, mm. I like that one. That's really good. Mm. After Petra, we flew to Luxor, which I didn't get yeah, to go okay. to Luxor before. To Vegas, that's weird. It's a long Luxor flight. is they, originally in Egypt. Do they've got a big light on top of the pyramid or what? There's no pyramid. There's no pyramid. The pyramids are in Cairo. So you're telling me that Las Vegas has lied to me? Yes, do absolutely. Have, all right, second thing. That's what they do. Do they have an elevator that goes sideways? No. Was Chris Angel there? Yes, actually. Mind free. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he does? It wasn't that funny to yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does, man. Is it? Oh, yeah. Mind free. I don't think I've ever seen it was, that. It's so stupid. Yeah, it sounds like it. Looks like it. I mean, that looks like it. Uh, so in Luxor, there's a lot more history because that's where like all the the tombs of the king, like the Valley of the Kings, where all the the yeah kings are you know are buried in their tombs, in their tombs that yeah. you better not touch. Well, they're all been they've all been. Touched. I know, and that's. Could you say that's probably why we're we've been fucked all this time? Maybe, possibly. The, was there a new king that they opened up like like maybe ten years ago? No, but okay. So the last. So the last uh, one that they found, I believe, was King Tut's, and this is like early—I want to say 1929, something like that, some, somewhere around that time frame. 
I did not know this fact. There's a guy, and he he had this whole crew, and they found it, and they opened it up, right? And they went inside and found all the things and logged it and, you know, did what you're supposed to as, like, an architect or whatever. Archaeologist. Archaeologist, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Um, historian, all the things. So, they all died. Yeah, man. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. Did you know this? No, but, it, like, it doesn't surprise me because it probably disturbed some sort of, like, mold or something that was in there and it fucking killed yeah, them. Like so a biological thing. Everyone yeah. at the time thought it was the mummy's curse. It is. Right? But essentially what it was was bacteria in the air that was just, like, underground for hundreds and hundreds, I mean, thousands of years, Yeah, right? that shit will kill you. Um, going into the chat real quick, uh, Hervey said, who made the pyramids, aliens or aliens? I believe he meant... Aliens or Allens. Oh. And yeah. I believe it was the Allens. Yeah, Tim Allen has got it going on. Oh. That guy, can he can build anything. And he's been around for a while, so I'm going to go with the Allens on that one. Mm-hmm. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I'm going for the Allens. Yeah, same. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of history there in Luxor. We got to meet uh, a guy named Mina, who's super nice. Again, friends of friends of friends that know Jesus Crystal. But he owns the Luxor Times, which is, like, a pretty big publication there in Egypt. And so, like... If you go on, like... It's like the New York Times, but for Egypt. Right, Got right. It, okay. But it's all about, like, history and, and the things that they're discovering. And, uh, like, okay. yeah. And so, like, they'll have politicians coming into town, and they're, like, looking at certain things, and he'll make sure he's covering that. But for the most part, it seems like it's, like, a lot of history and, and like, the 100 year anniversary of this particular find or whatever it was but super nice guy we ended up like i mean drinking with him a couple nights and he took us to eat and uh took us around to some of the temples but super super cool i kept giving a hard time i was like oh so you're famous you're a famous guy but he's also like a um ophthalmologist you mean does he he work on eyes yeah yeah optometrist or i'm so i messed up with the architect so i just know that i'm fucked up regardless is he an optometrist or an ophthalmologist yes okay gotcha he does eye stuff uh but he doesn't do do that anymore they both do he does he he started his own uh publication and so looks but he was really cool did Um, you ever ask about like if the stargate is real from from him from you should have you you probably would have known (laughs) no i did not and if it was you should have went and visited yeah Maybe he jumped, uh, jumped through time. Uh, we also did a, a hot air balloon. Apparently, it's a big deal there in Luxor. Is this a weird right. sex move? Can we just talk about the hot air balloon for a second? That was weird, I know you're way. getting into it. That was the weirdest hot air balloon. That was the biggest basket I've ever seen. If it's 20 people. That's insane. Yeah. And Fuck then that. you just get up in the air, and it just takes you wherever the wind blows. I mean, that's what hot air balloons right. are. Right. And then how do you get back down? I mean, you have a pilot. How, does, how do you pilot the wind? Because you you I have get ropes that you yeah. can kind of pull the balloon in okay. dir- certain directions, and then you like make sure that you know how much heat you're putting in to see how high you're going. And stuff. None like, of this makes any them. sense to me. I agree, but that's why we're not pilots. The guy was super smart. He actually was an airplane pilot here in the U.S. for a while too. Like I guess he gave up fixed wing for a balloon. Yeah, and then he went out there and he's like, "Man, this is awesome." Um, yeah, we should have marked that. Yeah. That's the biggest I ever seen. That's the biggest basket I ever seen. <laughs> but it, it was That's huge. A big basket. I'm sitting there looking at this. I'm like, Boy, how many basket? Be Ooh. how many people are in this thing? Twenty people. Twenty people. There's there twenty people caboose. in that basket. Yeah, that'd be scary for me. I could just picture the pilot just going like this. <laughs> he actually did that a couple of times. Really? Like, <laughs> which way is the wind? I, but I mean, like seriously, like okay. We're just going to pull this rope and shift the balloon this way, and it's going to go that way? Yes. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of hot air to me. I think he was just pulling your leg, and he's no, like... No, it's kind of like sails. We I don't mean, know like, where the fuck we're going, but it, we're going to get there. It's kind of like you know sailing, I think. Yeah. Sailing. Yeah, regardless. It was fun. It was considerably... like I've always wanted to go to the Albuquerque, like the, the big uh, yeah, hot air balloon is, festival. Right. But it's like five hundred dollars a person or something stupid to do that. Jesus, uh, not to go, but to get in a hot air balloon. Yeah, at the just festival. fly to Egypt and you you just talk to some dude. No, it was seventy five bucks a person, which is not bad at all. It was pretty damn cheap. Uh, how, how long were you up there? About an hour. Okay. But but nah. They serve drinks. <laughs> no, what? <Yeah. laughs> Everybody get drunk when you get on the plane. They the take you. They take you over some of the temples, and you're like right there over the Nile as well. How easy would it be to jump out of that thing? Oh, very easy. I mean, it comes up to about chest height, so mm. like I guess, I mean, not super super easy, but you could jump out. Yeah, if you want to jump out, you could jump out. I don't know why you would want to jump out. If you're ready to end it all, I guess that's a hell of a way to go. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna fly to Egypt. I'm going to get in a hot air balloon. And I'm going to jump I'm going to wreck these other 19 people's day because I'm just going to jump <laughs> right the fuck out. Yeah. 
Yeah, said, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Okay, I'm well, down with it. So what we got there? This is uh, raw kettle chip, kettle cooked chips. This one's sweet chili. I like I like sweet chili. Sweet chili. This seems like something that you would get like over in like Southeast Asia or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of. The the I guess the like family a sweet, like a sweet tight that thai makes chili? these raw chips. Uh, their kids go to Jesus and Crystal School too. What do you think? Did you just say the kids that make these chips go to? No, <laughs> the family of uh, there's a family mm. that makes this raw brand, and s- some of their kids go to their school. Oh, and what? What you said? The kids make it. Hooray! <laughs> All right, they're I'm happy done. about it. I'm done. Um, these are good. They're not I bad. Love sweet chili. I, get, I, I do like. So I like the Doritos uh, sweet. Uh, the sweet chili. Mm. Those are a little bit better, but I also get a little bit of tomato taste. Mm. Oh. Mm, mm. Yeah, like a little curry too. Yeah, I'm not sure mm. how I felt about that. To- those, those tomato chips did not those do it for me. Those tomato chips were, were good. I well, think they were delicious. You, you get those. You're one that likes ketchup, huh? Uh, yeah. Okay. I love ketchup. I mean, I like ketchup, but just I don't know. I, I guess I think that kind of sums up, man. It was it was a great trip. I'm pretty proud of my parents. It was like a whole trip of firsts. Um, there was one night where we went out to. I, I said like the scuba diving people. They were super nice. They invited everyone. Uh, from the boat and their friends that live there in Charm to uh, one of their friends' restaurants. It was an Italian restaurant. Super amazing food. And, you know, the beers were flowing. But it was like karaoke night. Oh. And so, like, everyone there, we kind of already knew from the day that we had on the boat and stuff. And uh, Mike, both Mike and Mom did karaoke. Mike has never done karaoke before. It was it, it was different. It was different. I was about to say, knowing, knowing Mike. Yeah. Uh, it he was, was like flailing his arms, doing this thing. It was an experience. I've, was, I've seen Mike dance, and yeah. it is. All right, you make fun of my dancing. Yeah, no, that's bad. Uh, yeah, yours is not as bad as Mike's. Yeah, Mike's is. But hey, at least he's having fun. He's having you a good time. You don't have fun. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I'm uncomfortable all the time. Like, you just look upset when you're dancing. At least he was having fun. I am upset when I'm dancing. So the hot air balloon thing was a first. The karaoke thing was a first. My mom's scuba dive, I kind of went over that. She did a try dive, and it was her first time to ever dive. I was pretty proud of her from doing that because, she, you know, it's yeah. a big deal, right? Um, she's only done snorkeling a couple times before. Like, the first time she ever did snorkeling is when we were in Honduras that one time, and right? This is something that Mike really enjoys doing, and the fact that she got in there and actually did something that he really enjoys doing, that's that's, right. that's a pretty cool, it is. pretty cool thing. I think with the trip, honestly, I think it gives them the opportunity to do more things because they're about to retire soon, right? Yeah. And so now they're going to be able, they don't have to have you along. They can go out on their Please. own and go to like. Please just go on your own. Go do more things like go to Italy or go to more places in Europe. I mean, it's 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 cool for them to do all that. Yeah. And Cheers I really hope they do. Like their their goal, like a lot of people that retire is like, oh, I'm going to you know get my camper and go all over the U.S. and do yeah, stuff. Yeah. I hope they that this and I feel like I did because I feel like they're different people now. For, they're going to get their for, camper and go up to Canada. No. Well, maybe. No, I feel like that maybe they'll get a travel bug and, and kind of like go outside of the U.S. more and not just kind of stick within our our borders, which is fun. There's plenty to do here, but like there's so much fucking world out there, you know? And so it was kind of cool to see them exactly like you're saying, like they, they got to see it. And I feel like hopefully they get to do that. They'll want to do that more. Actually, a good point uh, in the chat. I mean, I have, I have I know people that live in Spain. <clears throat> so the next time they're here, I think maybe they need to meet them because they're really nice and... Um, Anytime, like the, where they showed me where they live, and it's like beautiful on a mountainside, and they have like a vineyard. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah. Oh God. Either they one. uh, they cartel friends. No. <laughs> Shut up. Quit telling people my business, bro. <laughs> no, but it, 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 the pictures they've shown me, man, I'd love to go to Spain. I, I can't wait to go. And yeah, and Jesse I and I were talking about that. How like it'd be really cool to go actually to Spain, and then like I was like, well, then we could just go into the Canary Islands because yeah, you know, right there and. Knock off Africa as well as uh, the Mediterranean. I'd love to go to the Maldives. Yeah. Man, I would love to go to the Maldives. Like that is definitely on the list. Mm-hmm. It is all the. You want to stay in one there. of those huts that's yeah, over the water? The water. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So I've seen like you just wake up and jump out into the. So water. there was a there was something that was like okay the Maldives are pretty expensive but there's another like area that is very similar to the Maldives. It's oh, the f- Baldives. I've seen that. Yeah. The Ganges. Bald, bald deeps. Bald where <laughs> it's, the balls deep. It's cheaper, um, but still has the same huts, beautiful water and all and that stuff. And still balls yeah. deep, yeah. And still balls deep. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, where else is a good spot to like maybe go? Uh, Tahiti is like way out there. Yeah. Right? right? Is it Tahiti? 
Is that the one that's in between like California and Australia? Like yeah, I believe yeah. I believe small, it is. Small small island. Yeah. Multiple islands like the yeah. Tahitian Islands. They yeah, have they a have, nude beach. They have a they have a they have a really good uh, uh soda called the Tahitian treat. <laughs> It's a favorite of mine. <laughs> you motherfucker. You dumb motherfucker. No, it's true, though. They're about, it's like 350 calories. It's very sweet, tasty. It's red. It's you know wonderful. it's not really from Tahiti, though, right? The French Polynesian Islands. It looks Island. like it. Yeah, the French Polynesian French Islands. Polynesian I would love Island. to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's see. Uh, they, have over, they do have overwater huts in Mexico now. So there's, um, a, there's a place that I've really wanted to go to, and it's a British Virgin Islands. Oh, yeah. And it's the uh, island, I think it's Gorda, G-O-R-D-A. But they have this thing called the... You got this weird look on your face. No, keep going. He just talking. always. Does. So they got this beach, but it's they call it the they call it the baths, and it's all these like big like boulderous rocks and stuff, and like these little like pools of water in there. And I've always wanted to go see that. It look, it looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, man. There's 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 a lot of world. It just you know you go and do a trip and you just kind of automatically like want to try to book another one. If there was an easier way to travel, man, I would fucking do it. I there just, is. It's called the. It's called the. It's called the uh, miracle flight. The only thing that's keeping you from traveling more is you, bro. Uh, in his in his fear of aircrafts, I fucking I'm telling you, that's I that's fucking, him. Uh, you need to talk to a doctor and see if you can get like. Uh, that's why I get drunk before, like whenever we were in San Jose. <laughs> get like, get, a, get some Xanax before you back. before you yeah. fly. Yeah. Some Valium, maybe. I asked. I was like, I need a double double uh, bourbon and. Uh, ginger ale and uh, tammy's like they're not going to give that to you and she gave it to me <laughs> like they, 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 that also, three hour flight come on also the southwest people they gave me free drinks yeah that was really good southwest great i love it they knew you were scared huh Did they know you were scared probably i was like shaking my leg the entire time um, and sweaty like nervous that. boy yeah i just you know i know xanax or, or maybe take a gummy but man i just i don't know maybe maybe they're right maybe they're right get fucking ripped man just uh get a big bong hit i'll get yeah. ripped tonight <laughs> r.i.p what is that how it is okay so uh, i mean are we done we here got one more set of chips here got one more set oh, of yeah. chips yeah let's let's just talk about these doritos that are cool ranch obviously well no they say sweet chili pepper Sweet They're chili probably just pepper. cool ranch, though, yeah. Chili pepper! So that's what the packaging looks like. Uh, they smell a little different. They smell oh, little... what the fuck? Don't cough in them. <laughs> you sick. That's, is it the curse of the mummy? <laughs> Did you just inhale it? I'm about to get the mummy tummy. All right, all right. Ooh. That's weird. It's not great. <laughs> So it tastes like we have you had the sweet chili one here, the no. Doritos. So it tastes like they com they combine sweet chili with Cool Ranch. That's what that tastes like to me. To me, it tastes like they just took all the dust off a of Dorito and put it in a bag because I I feel like there's not a whole lot of flavor in it. Tastes these. like toes. <laughs> no, we know how Javier likes sucking toes, sucking toes and fucking bros. <laughs> Just and you know, <laughs> I honestly think we should just end it with that. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't even thank you for joining us on YouTube. Sorry for all the issues, but we appreciate you hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of what we talked about tonight. Uh, if you're watching us, um, make sure you subscribe, comment. We love to hear from you. Um, you can also give us a call at 817-677-0408. Leave us a text. Leave us a voicemail. You can find us on all the social media platforms at The Funky Panther. Again, uh, please vote for us if, if, if you want to. If you, if you love us, go out and uh, we're vote. We're clearly the best. Best of Fort Worth Weekly. Come on, let's do the thing. Stay good, everyone. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. I'm Tim. And we are the, the Funky Panther. Panther. Cheek beat a machine. Cheek beat a machine. I will buy, 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 buy. Till I'm 83.